So the minister, the healer is up in front of the audience. He says to the audience, who will volunteer to come up here? Me! Me, 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 me! He picks me. I walk up to the healer. He puts his hand on my forehead. And he says, you're healed! And I go, hallelujah! I'm healed! And with tears of joy in my eyes, I look at him and I say, I didn't even know I was broken. <laughs> hmm. Didn't even know I was broken. Not many of you can do this. <laughs> healing, interesting word. If you take on healing, you have judged yourself to be broken somewhere. Physically, it can be simple pain, it can be major. Emotionally, you know, you're, you're just having a hard time emotionally. Spiritual, maybe lacking in spiritual. And you tell yourself, I need healing. I need healing. Let's take something off. Let's take something off. Let's say you're in pain. That's how you are. The story that you need healing is a story. I need to heal this pain. Let's just say that's who you are. That's who you are right at this moment. That is where you're at. Say you're having a bad day with your kids and you're emotionally charged. You say, look it on. I am emotionally charged. That's what I am right this moment, right now. Does that need to be healed right this moment? No. Say you're spiritual lacking. You feel like you've moved out of the spiritual realm you're in. Does that need to be healed? Well, maybe not. You are who you are right now. You are who you are at this present moment. Your energy level, your source energy level is what it is right now. Can you heal yourself? Can you raise your source energy level? Yes, you can. Some people do it by meditation. Some people do it by prayer. There's many modalities to raise your spiritual energy source level. Can you do it by yourself all the time? No. Sometimes for physical, you need to go to the doctor. Things you cannot fix yourself. Things, pain, or physical issues of this physical body, you need to go have a specialist work on. It could be a doctor, it could be surgery, it could be taking ibuprofen, it could be anything. <clears throat> Emotional pain. You can go talk to somebody. You can talk to your parents. You can work things out with your kids. You can do that with some with the help from other people. Spiritual pain. Spiritual action. Prayer. Being of faith. All of those pieces. You can go to other individuals outside of health. So there's two ways to transition. In fact, let's use transition instead of healing. Because if you're in transition, you are where you are right now. You don't need to be fixed, but you want to be fixed. 
don't need to be fixed. I'm perfect just the way I am. So let's take healing and change that to transition. I want to transition to a better physical place. I want to transition to a better emotional place. I want to transition to a better healing place. That way, I am who I am right now. And I want to raise my energy level. I want to raise my vibration. Simple way to do it yourself. I love myself. I love where I'm at. I love my body. That way, that's what you can do. Sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes you need to make that transition through help from other people. Physical can be Reiki, uh, doctor, emotional can be friends, your minister, somebody you have confidence in. Spiritually, oh, there's a whole lot of ways to get your energy up spiritually. Love yourself, love your body, love the earth, love the people you're involved with, and that is a way that you can do it yourself.